Okay, this is just pissing my shit off. Um, I'm not going to reshoot the Dream Control video part two. I, I've done it four times. Um, every time I try to load it, something goes wrong. And it's, it's not... Um, it's not some sort of corrupted file. It's not. Um, it's not a time issue. Uh, it's. It's. I. It's got to be the information. So um, I'm not giving up on it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna get out there. It just. It couldn't happen yesterday, and it looks like it's not happening today. But it's gonna happen, and it's on the blog. All my information of that experience I had is on our blog, and I put it out there because I had a feeling that this might happen. So read it and start practicing it. Today alone, uh, I was notified and I, and, and I looked at our messages. We've had close to 17 people come out with information um, that they are beginning to astrally transfer. They're working on the stuff that we're putting out there and their awareness is transferring to their astral bodies. But when they are aware and inside their astral bodies, they are being plagued by uh, and reports differ, but it seems to be pretty similar. Dark beings, big claws, big teeth, and they tell them the most horrible, foul things that um, they could imagine. They try to eat them. They intimidate them. Uh, in some cases, I guess there was even uh, reports of uh, a, like rape happening to, to, to their astral bodies, and they were so afraid of it, they were shocked back into their physical bodies, and they want to know what the hell's going on. Let me tell you what's going on. And I think we've gone over this in videos before, but I'm going to put it all out there right now. Through a Faustian pact, the Illuminati and the Reptilian Agenda, because they are a powerful mag magical organization, they understand that your astral body is what creates your physical world. It builds the physical world that you live in. So whatever your astral body does, that old maxim, as above, so below, so within, so without, filters down to become your manifested reality. So, they know this. They know this. So what they've done is they have contracted with beings that just wait around and harm and torment and hurt your astral body without you knowing it. That's why you have, you know, certain issues that happen. That's why there's a dumbing down of society. That's why people are very apathetic nowadays with uh, issues with the New World Order and whatnot because they are being told, their astral bodies are being worked on to not care. They're being told, if you don't do anything and you don't care, we're not going to hurt you anymore. And that filters down into the, physical, into, into the physical world. However, they know that once you have a powerful out-of-body experience, that you can never go back to the mundane world again. Because you realize there is a level of freedom, a level of power and liberation that goes way beyond the current major religion's expla you know, explanations. Christianity. Uh, Islam and Judaism do not encompass in any way the full scope of your freedom and your and your divinity. So when you go have these astral experiences and there are these horrible beings there waiting for you, guess what? That only reiterates and uh, backs up this idea that. Um, it's the devil, and that's what they and that's what they want. They want you to believe it's the devil because they are the real evil. They want you to believe that anything that's going to liberate you is actually going to harm you, and what's going to harm you is what's going to liberate you. Waiting around for Jesus Christ is not going to liberate you. You have to become the inner champion. You have to become the light. You have to become your own savior, and you have to unleash it. And the best way to do that is get into your astral body and become come at astrally first and it will manifest into the physical world. If you are one of those people who've had that experience that you are you are being attacked and harmed, when you get to your um, astral body, you need to immediately, right now, this second, confirm with inside yourself that you are going to get back to your astral body somehow, some way, and you are going to kill the shit out of whatever is negative and harming you. You need to get back into that mindset because your life, your happiness, the, the people who love you and who want to see like, the best things happen to you, that matters. That absolutely is worth fighting for. That absolutely is worth keeping and, and, and manifesting. And these assholes, these reptilian Illuminati crusty fucks 
feel that their existence trumps yours. You need to get that mindset. How dare they do this to you? How dare they? You need to become an astral warrior. You need to get out of the hold that these assholes have put on you. So, when you get to your astral body, you need to not only confront these entities, you need to do your best to show them that you are not afraid. Now, these entities that they've put around you are not powerful. These entities are like the lowest of the low, the weaklings, the just the pure first grade bullies. I mean, if a first grader came up to you who's a bully and was like, give me your lunch money, you would laugh in their face. This is the same thing you've got to do. You just have to understand that these things can, can, can take shapes and images that are very, very scary. But you are in control. You have to be the warrior that you want to be. And the first thing to do is to confront these, these, these entities and tell them to get the hell out of your dream space. And the more you do it, the more or the less interference. Okay, because here's the thing. Your astral body is always there. Okay, it doesn't project itself into the astral realm. Okay, this is where like that, you know, those books with those little crescent moons on it. They're just full of shit because they're a new world order uh, front company. They're giving you misinformation. Your astral body is always there. It's your consciousness that transfers over, okay? So your astral body is going about what your deep subconscious mind is telling it. Now here you are being programmed that you're worthless and a slave. So your subconscious mind says, I'm worthless and a slave. And so your astral body goes, I'm worthless and a slave. So it does things that a, a worthless slave would do. And then guess what? That manifests into your physical life. So you're like, wow, I must really be a worthless slave. It's a vicious, vicious cycle. And these things are, are little taskmasters that sit around and make fun of your astral body. They do things to it. They humiliate it. So you feel that here on the physical realm. You need to get to your astral body any way that you can. You, by visualization first and sooner or later, it will cross over. And you need to kick the shit shit out of these things so that they know it's not worth their time because they are going to be harmed. Their power is going to spill out all around them in some sort of ectoplas ectoplasmic ether, okay? Bullies don't want fights. Bullies want victims, okay? Once you start throwing punches back at them, stabbing them with astral swords, whatever, what have you, they're going to run, okay? Or they're going to challenge you. Now this is your opportune time to slay one of these fuckers and, and, and reclaim your power. But this is the way it must be done, okay? You are in a vicious hold right now that you must, must confirm in yourself that you're going to break out, okay? You must, must confirm. That is, I'm sorry, you know, no Jesus is going to come down and pet a little lamb and give you, you know, a little boost and tell you how much he loves you and make all the evil go away, okay? That's kindergarten bullshit, okay? Bubblegum bullshit. You need to open up the inner champion inside yourself. You need to look deep, deep inside yourself and say, where is my inner hero? And you need to let that out and you need to become it. You need to become it. That's the only way it's going to happen. That's the only way that these crusty reptilian fucks are going to are 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 going to leave, are probably leave you alone, or they're going to test you like they have me and a couple others. Eventually, it's going to happen. There's a lot of interference between uh, your different bodies, your dream bodies, your astral bodies, your emotional bodies. That's actually done on purpose to make it difficult for you to fully transfer over. Okay, so some of you are stuck somewhere in between your physical body and your astral body. That's why your physical body is paralyzed and your astral body doesn't work all that well. And these things just sort of lord over you and scare you back into your physical reality. Ha having that terrible negative feeling and feeling powerless. No, no matter what happens when you cross over to your astral body, you need to make sure that these things know that you mean business. You are a fucking champion and you are gonna claw, rip, tear, even if you have to crawl at them to get it. Even if you have to be like some sort of, I don't know, Wolverine, you're gonna get them and claw them and snarl them. Make sure that they know that messing with you is gonna cost them big. 
And that's, that's the way it is. And that shit's going to manifest into your physical life. You know, guys in this order, my order, even the women in this order, like, people don't fuck with us. Not because we're mean, not because we're bullies, but we walk into a room and we just project that confidence. Most of us are hardcore jud or a hardcore core judica, hardcore, you know, we do a lot of things, weightlifting, strength training, all these things, not because it's part of what, you know, what we have to do, just because that, what, that's what we enjoy. Um, and it just sort of manifested into, you know, people in this group end up doing that. But, you know, we go to bars, we go to taverns, we go to places, people don't mess with us. All right, we get free drinks, okay? But we're not mean. All we do is we encourage other people to do it themselves. That's just what we're doing here. So remember, you are in control of your own astral body. You've got to make those things fear you. Read our blog, find out about the dream control, and you guys will do awesome.